King David is dead, and his son Solomon becomes king. And all the kings of the kingdoms come to Solomon to pay tribute to David. And Solomon says, my father had these, he had a dream and these plans, perfect plans to build a temple. Won't you give some of your wood and your stone from your hills in honor of my father to build this temple? Obviously they agree. So Solomon pays the workers and the workers go to the hills and they cut the stone and the wood to the perfect planned pieces for the temple. When these pieces of stone and wood reached Jerusalem to build the temple, the construction site was quiet, which is odd. The people in Jerusalem basically just saw a temple going up. We are the temple. But we tend to think that when God builds into our life, it should be like a bam, it happens, we change, everything's happy, everything's good. But that is, it does happen sometimes, but in my life, it's rarely the way that it, ha that it happens, that it works. I can almost only see what God did if I sit and reflect. Why don't you take a moment and just look back a year, maybe two years. Where did God build into your life? Where was God building you as the temple? He was there, he was there, he was there. And then seeing his goodness, seeing that God was in this walk with you the whole time. Look to the future and be honest with yourself. Where are you scared of the future? Where do you feel you're falling short? Where are you struggling with something you don't know how to overcome that? Where are those things where you feel you're not equipped? And then won't you trust in God's goodness? Won't you trust in the fact that it says that God planned you perfectly your mother's womb. Perfect plans. And his plans for you are to give you hope and a future. And then won't you pray and say, God, I trust that you will build this temple.